Republican Senate candidate Rory Moore announces he will sue the Washington Post over its allegations of sexual misconduct. One America's Christian Rose has more on the alleged political attack against Moore. Alabama Senate candidate George Roy Moore announces his plans to sue the Washington Post for the paper's egregious accusations against him, his family and his campaign. He made the announcement at a special event Sunday where he received a series of standing ovations from those in attendance. This after the Washington Post, owned by billionaire entrepreneur Jeff Bezos, published several pieces targeting Judge Moore's public image with unproven allegations of sexual misconduct. I have not been guilty of sexual misconduct with anyone. These allegations came only four and a half weeks before the general election on December 12th. Why now? Bezos is known as a prominent Democrat donor and opponent to President Trump. Meanwhile, a series of recent reports have demonstrated inconsistencies in the accusations against Judge Moore. Leah Korfman, one of his alleged victims, claimed in the Washington Post article she spoke with Moore on the phone in her bedroom, but according to her mother Nancy Wells, she did not have a phone in her room. Another report details the Washington Post's efforts to reach out to the alleged victims. Wells says it was the paper that contacted her daughter with an offer to tell what's supposed to be her story. Korfman, who according to the Washington Post has a history of drug abuse, bankruptcies and was at some point $140,000 in debt, accepted the Washington Post's offer. But it's interesting, the Bezos Amazon Washington Post that dropped that dime on Donald Trump is the same Bezos Amazon Washington Post that dropped the dime this afternoon on Judge Roy Moore. Now, is that a coincidence? Another alleged victim of Judge Moore's misconduct is Deborah Wesson Gibson of Alabama, who previously worked for Hillary Clinton's campaign. After the Washington Post published her story, Gibson deleted multiple postings from her Facebook page, including her photo with former Vice President Joe Biden and her post in support of Moore's Democrat opponent, Doug Jones. Roy Moore is somebody who graduated from West Point. He served our country in Vietnam. He's been elected multiple times statewide in Alabama. The people in Alabama know Roy Moore better than we do here in D.C. Meanwhile, a recent poll revealed Alabama voters are not buying into the accusations against Judge Moore. An Emerson College survey conducted in the immediate aftermath of the Washington Post articles showed 55% of voters support Moore, while only 45% of voters favor his Democrat opponent. The poll also showed only 28% of respondents were affected by the Washington Post speculative narrative. It's, it's pure allegation. It's, uh... Someone, it's someone that's trying to cook up a story. Now, any allegations that are made would not change my perception of Roy Moore. The unfounded attacks against Judge Moore reflect the fierce resistance of the bipartisan political establishment in D.C. to President Trump's agenda of draining the swamp by any means necessary. Christian Rose, One American News.